So hello, uh, today we will learn a new skill. So for those who are currently doing their modules right now, uh, this video is for you to make your work more easier. So one of the major problems when we create our own module is that we find it hard sometimes to create our own table of contents. This is really a hassle because most of the time you would want to type in each of the subheading and then type the number like the page number and then look at it here on what page is it like review of literature I uh, say for example that is the part that you're referring to but this is just a sample that so what if there's a way for you to create your own table of contents without you know by just a click of a finger so you can actually do that in Microsoft Word in fact even in the lower versions you can actually do that so if you try to look at this this is actually auto generated today we will learn how to create our own we have here another document without any table of contents we have the title page and then we have we have here our content okay so the first thing you need to do is to really do headings so if you're familiar with headings uh, for those who do not know this above this part here let's try to look at it this part are the headings so you need to take advantage of this because this will really make your work easier let's say for example because this is a research project here so let's say for example the first part of your module is the introduction okay, let's just say it's the introduction so this is heading one so you highlight this one and then click on heading one right so you're telling word that this one is heading one and it's the first level heading one means it is the topmost of the hierarchy right so if there is something that is under introduction or your heading one you can name it as heading two which is under heading one okay so if we try to look at here let's say for example i have part one here of the introduction i can call it heading two so that will be part of the introduction and for you to really understand this one let's try to click on control f okay so if you click on control f you will see here the navigation pane will appear and then you see here in the right if you try to zoom we see here results then pages and then headings you try to look at that we have here pages then headings so the next thing you're going to do is to click on headings so you see already um, here it's already populated our headings are already populated you see the word introduction and under introduction you have part one okay so let's just fast track it from here uh, the next part of your module let's say for perhaps you have a the objective but this is a research paper so let's say the next part is in my case it's the review of related literature so i'll highlight that again and call it heading one because it is one of the major parts of my paper so if you see here introduction try to look at here right so you see there introduction and review of related literature is on the same level because they are one of the major parts so for example in this case another part of the review of related literature is this the development of the philippine performance management system so this is under heading two but if there are no other parts within that subheading you may not include heading two okay so if you try to look at here again it's being populated under uh, heading two we have development of the performance management system just to make it clear let's try to highlight another one right so we have here another part let's look at let's look for, let's look for it all right so we have perf perception and how it affects performance management system so let's call this heading two because this is under review of related literature and let's try to look for another subheading all right 
Alright, so there's no other subheading here. So I'll proceed to part 3 of my paper, which is research problem. So in your case, it could be the major activity, whatever it is in your module, depending on the module you're creating. So what will I call this? Any guess? Alright, that's correct. It's heading 1 again because this is a major part of my paper. Okay, so you see here, on the right side, it's being populated. We have heading 1, heading the, another heading 1, review of related literature, and there another heading is the research problem. Now, the beauty of this is, let's say, for example, you wanted to go back to part 1 of the introduction. So is that in a, The beauty of this is that in a click of a finger, you can go to part 1 immediately by just clicking on it here in this side. To make it clearer, I'll zoom into part 1. You just click on part 1, and then automatically you will go to part 1. Then let's say for example you wanted to go to research problem. I wanted to go to research problem because there is something I want to edit. So all you have to do is to click it here. And you have research problem here. So the heading is really something that you, you could maximize, you could use so that you'll be able to make your work faster. Alright? So you have heading 2 here. We try to look at it. Uh, heading 1, 2, and then we have heading 3. So if you have something that is under heading 2, let's say for example, perception and how it affects PMS, that is heading 2. But if you have something that is a sub part of that heading, well, you can add heading 3 in that part. Okay, let's try to check. Let's say for example, let's create another heading here. Okay. Let's say uh, perception of teachers. Right. So, if we highlight on this and click on heading 3, what happened here? So, we can see that under perception and how it affects the PMS, we have perception of teachers. Right? So, it's just a matter of hierarchy when you do your outline. And Microsoft Word is really good at this. So, you just continue this process. Might as well as, you, as you're doing your module, you try to label the heading. By the way, there's a question. What if I don't like the format of this perception of how it affects? Can I change the font? Of course, yes. So let's say, for example, you want to change the font for heading 1. So all you have to do, ladies and friends, is to right-click on heading 1 here in the top portion. If you try to see that, you just try to click on this heading 1. Then right click and then click on modify and here comes a dialog box that will ask you how are you going to change it okay so it's as easy as that and by the way if you wanted to if you wanted to more about how to really edit this one we'll have another video for it but for now um, you see how heading works all right so if you continue this one up to the last part of your module you can now generate your own table of contents in an instant click. Then how do you do that? So all you have to do, my friends, is to go to References. So we have Home here. We have Insert, Design, Layout, and then References. So what are you going to do next after you click on References? You look for Table of Contents. So we see here in the upper most left side, the table of contents. So next you're going to do is to click on that and then it will, we have a built-in format here. Right. So you see here the different types. So we can, you can just choose among here or you can custom the table. So if we click on one, all right, so automatically, we have a table of contents so far of what we have labeled according to heading. So introduction is in page 1, part 1 of the introduction is in page 1, review of related literature is in page 3, development of performance management system is in page 3, and perception and how it affects PMS is in page 7. By the way, can you edit this one? Of course you can. So you just have to highlight the parts that you want to edit 
and you can change it here bold whatever color you like All right. so you want to make the letter bigger All right. so whatever you would want to for you it's formatable so uh meron bang word na formatable <laughs> all right so so that's all you have to do so in a click of, of a finger you can generate your own table of contents and it makes your work easier so let's say for example we'll continue this one up to the end part like this one i'll make a heading for this heading one and then for each of this i'll create heading two heading three this is heading two because this is under heading one research methodology right so it continues to populate all right so it doesn't appear here yet right <laughs> so what are you going to do all you have to do is to go again to references and then click again not on table contents but update table so you see there beside table table contents you see update table so we're going to click on it there are times that you would want the page numbers only because you are um, you know there are times that we would edit and sometimes the next part will be in the next page so you would only want to update the page numbers but in this case we would like to update the entire table because we populated it with another sub heading and subheading so we click ok and then there you go ladies and friends you have numbers here so just to check if it's really working let's try to click on research problem and place it in another page okay. because you were editing and then you you move some of the parts All right. so basically the research problem page is not it's 10 here okay so let's try to check if it will update let's update page numbers only all right so see it changed from 10 to 11. Okay. So, you see that's how powerful it is. Sometimes, um, we find it hard to really do things, but there is an easier way. So, I hope this helps. But, by the way, okay. So, sometimes the page one, you would want the page one to be in the third page. Like this. Alright. Because you want the cover page to be in Roman numeral. Okay. So, how do we do that? Well, in the next video, we will learn that. So, please stay tuned. Try to subscribe in the channel. And let's learn more together. Subscribe now.